One more note about this incident here about worshiping the calf. According to Torah, it was not Samiri who made the calf. Do you know who that was? And this will be a very clear proof showing that how Torah has been changed and people played around with this book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. According to the Old Testament, the existing one, it says that the person who made the calf was Harun alayhi salatu wasalam. And he called people to worship it. Can you imagine when you are blaming a prophet of Allah to introduce shirk? I have no words. How can I express my feeling? When you are saying a prophet of Allah who doesn't even commit a minor sin, who doesn't even think about going to the sin, he's so pure and clean. And you're saying this prophet of Allah is committing, not only he himself is committing the worst crime in the world, he is even introducing it and inviting people to it. He is telling people to worship the calf. He made it himself and he got people to worship it. Well, this is a very, very clear sign about the changes that this book went through. And that is something no one can deny. No one in the world can ever deny the changes those books went through. I have talked to a lot of priests, a lot of rabbis, and we sat in a room and we discussed it in a very friendly manner to just see because at that time I was very at the very beginning stages reading those the present Old Testament and New Testament. Yes, I when I came to this part of the world, I thought I must read it. So I started reading it. And as I was reading it, I was having questions. So rather than going to the websites where Muslims are answering those questions, I started going to the rabbis and to the priests to ask them about what would be the right answer according to their understanding. And not a single one I found who would say that this book is not changed. Yes, initially there were some of them who said it's not changed. But when you give them some examples of the changes and you present those examples from the book that look, isn't that very clear that there are changes over here? So my experience was that they came to a point where they would say, yeah, there are changes, but not in the beliefs, only in the stories. This is what was the best explanation I got, that changes are there, but those changes are not in the beliefs. They are only in the stories of the Bible. But now here, would you consider this a belief or a story? When you are saying a prophet of Allah is a story, according to them, a, uh, the story is that someone made a calf and people are worshipping, so this is a story, not a belief. But when you're saying a prophet of Allah made the idol and he made that calf and he introduced that worshipping of the calf to people, is this is belief or this is just a story? And if you really say that changes had happened only in the stories, how can you assure us that no one changed the part of the beliefs? Like if a person is changing there, why wouldn't he change here? If a person, if a book is changed, it's changed, that is, that, that's it. You know, it's not about oh, only 10% is changed or only 50% is changed. So, and Quran is very clear about this. Subhanallah, this is why. Allah made, uh, it seems like this could be the reason, this has to be the reason Allah made it so clear. وَلَقَدْ قَالَ لَهُمْ هَارُونُ مِنْ قَبْلُ يَا قَوْمِ إِنَّمَا فُتِنْتُمْ بِهِ وَإِنَّ رَبَّكُمُ الرَّحْمَانِ Harun told them prior to it, O oh people, you have been misled through this calf. إِنَّمَا فُتِنْتُمْ بِهِ you have been misled by this. وَإِنَّ رَبَّكُمُ الرَّحْمَانِ And your Lord is Ar-Rahman subhanahu wa ta'ala. فَاتَّبِعُونِي Follow me وَاطِعُوا أَمْرِي And follow my command, obey my command. So he tried to keep them on the path. How could he introduce the idol worshipping? So as I said, this is something very, very surprisingly. Uh, we see that the change that is made. And this is not the only place, of course. There are so many Anbiya Ali Salatu Wasalam, Wal-Ayyazu Billah, wal Billah, who are blamed for different type of crimes. Inshallah, some other time when we get to those ayahs, we will talk about these type of things, uh, or at least those are the exa examples. 
when they would say about well ayazu billah well ayazu billah about Lut alayhi salatu wasalam that he got drunk and his daughters gave him the alcohol to drink and then he committed adultery with his own daughters and he had children from his own daughter subhanallah how could a prophet of allah got to get, go so low and that a normal uh, person in our time will not even think about it how could you attribute something like this to anbiya alayhi salatu wasalam so when this became the concept of, of Nabuwa, according to that book. Remember, when Christians now, when Christians at the time of Sayyidina Isa alayhi salatu wasalam, when they saw what was the value of a prophet in the eyes of the Jews, that these Anbiya, prophet, will lead people to shirk and kufr, prophet will be drinking alcohol, drink, and prophet will become drunk and will come out in public naked and he will be dancing in public naked when a prophet would be drunk and commit adultery with his own daughter and have children from her. When they, wrote, when they saw these type of things, so they had no, seems like they thought it's the best for us that not to call Jesus a prophet. You know, when you have that picture of a prophet, then who would want to respect someone and call him a prophet? Really? Uh, the word prophet, according to them, well, may have been like a curse word that you, when you're a prophet. Oh, so you do that? So they said, you know, we better call him son of God. Good or bad, but this, this is the background of these things. In order for us to understand these concepts and these ayat, it's, good, it's, it's always good that we realize the background and understand what, uh, what led to these type of things.